So hello everyone, it's your girl Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace. Today we're gonna get into the new Natasha Denona mini palette. I also bought the macro um eyeliner. I know shocking, right? Because when do I ever do eyeliner? But um we're gonna go try both of them of them out today i did the pre-order from her website and it got here surprisingly fast which i'm shocked about it says this is a palette that includes five shades and allows you to complete a whole look on the go it's free of parabens and phthalates it's also cruelty free this ultimate palette features five essential shades to create natasha denona's signature smoky cat eye it includes creamy mats a highly foiled metallic Perfect for bold and defined looks with a pop of dramatic glam. This is also the first and only mini palette to include the supreme rich and velvety blackest black eyeshadow. So I remember this eyeshadow because I remember Casey Holmes talking about how it was like the blackest eyeshadow in her collection. It was her favorite black eyeshadow when she had to use black eyeshadow. She would use that. So um, I'm interested to see how this is going to work. It retails for $25. If I remember correctly, this eyeliner cost me $26, so I ended up paying like $51 just so I didn't have to pay the shipping. The funny thing is I had already got a free little sample one from Sephora when I had ordered um, the Patrick Star Concealer that I did a review on that you all are watching today, which is Sunday. Um, so we're going to use this one, but um, I did want to show you I did get the full size one. So, I mean, the packaging looks about the same, I'm sure, on this baby versus the big one. But, yeah, this is what it looks like. We're going to use my sample size one just so we can use it up. There's no point of opening a new one. We don't need it. I wonder if it's going to um, be better than my um, speeding one because I know everybody really likes that one. And whenever the sale comes at Sephora, you do that. We get that one. So I'm probably just going to stick to this part back here. We know me. I'm not, you know, really big on shades like this. And to me, this one's a little too light. I might dust this over the darker gray. We'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go prime my eyes. Put a black pencil in the waterline and then come back, okay? Okay, y'all, so I used the Sigma black eye pencil underneath the waterline. I didn't feel the need to buy hers just because I was like, I already got, like, plenty of pencils. Y'all know I bought the Patrick Tyler when his collection came out. I've really been enjoying that one. I've really been enjoying the Sigma one I have on now. So I was like, we're not doing that. Okay, so I start off with the blackest black shade, this one right here. And just dust it underneath the lower lash line on both sides of the eye real quick. Y'all know me, this palette was like speaking to my soul because I love a good smoky eye moment. We all know that. If, if I had to be a boring new suit chick, it'd be nothing but smokiness all around, all the time. You'd be like, she does boring makeup, but like it's always smoky. Yes, we have to have some type of intensity or fun if it's going to be neutral. I'm sorry. I just, I probably have a pop of color in the inner corner all the time or something like because I just always love color. I don't really gravitate towards the neutral thing, so. And maybe that's just me. And it is a really nice black shade. I don't know if my black is black, but since I don't play that much with black, I can't say that it's not a very nice black. I will say it is a very nice black, but you know. What am I really playing with black? What am I really doing? Smoky eyes. So where I would need a single shadow. Because this was originally a single shadow called Like It's Black. Like I said, I remember Casey Holmes wearing it. And um, talking about how when she needed black eyeshadow, it was automatically what she went to. And I was like, okay, Casey, I see. If I was going to make some more eye looks, I'm not going to do it now. Because, you know, yeah. All the black on these days, so I'm not gonna really do my makeup. We're just here now, it's too late. Sorry, I should have brought y'all in there. My bad. But this is what we're looking like right here. Now, I'm trying to decide if you put that same shade on the outer V if I want to just stick with the gray. And I think I'm just gonna stick with the gray since we already got the black underneath there. I might do a little bit of black on the like outer V toward the bottom on like a wing type situation, and then we just go in with the um crap i didn't put on the eyeshadow palm like i told y'all was jesus i'll just take this catrice eyeshadow gotta be like nine or something but i didn't actually start moving around to like 10 something which means my schedule behind but like 
in hours. I'm just like, ugh. But I mean, that's my own fault. But at the same time, it's like, I want to be able to get a little sleep and relaxation as well. So, I was like, I'm not going to deprive myself of, you know, self-care. And try to kind of just start... just trying to put it over where we just put the gray and I mean over where we just put the black and like nowhere else because I don't want the colors to muddy up since they're so close in tone so I'm trying to keep it focused like and out of here where the wing shape isn't with the black um, eyeliner I mean with the black is black shape I didn't look at the back to see what the um, name of the shades were my apologies but you know I think it'd be cool to actually do a matte look instead with the black, with the um, light gray on the lid, and then just go ahead and um, use the shimmer as the inner corner color. So I might just end up doing that instead of what I originally talked about doing, just because I feel like that'll look cooler. Plus, I'm curious to see how the shade's gonna work more than just a like duster shade, if you will, if it actually do a good job as on the lid but with the parm I put on I feel like I'd be setting it up for failure so I don't know if I necessarily want to do that today it might be like an Instagram look that you get later on in a picture to you know see I'm thinking we might end up doing what I talked about which is cutting the crease and just going ahead and putting that mat on the lid because I really want to put that on the lid so I'm thinking I'm gonna do that so I'm just going with this and then I'll cut the crease off camera and come back and do like that with you and we put the shimmery shade in the crease. Okay, y'all gonna go cut the um, crease and then I'll be right back. So y'all messed around and did this eye uh, without you all because, you know, I was just on like routine mode, but this is what I'm just putting a second coat on top of this one, the shade right here, I was in my head thinking about um, other stuff and just got like on automat on automatics like I was doing my makeup off camera. But yeah, I'm really liking the way it's turning out. Um, I'm going to have to do some touch-ups as far as like, you know. A couple other things. I'm going to have to find a skin tone color to um, kind of Blend over the top of this. Y'all know I love having my... Okay, y'all saw I fix the sides. Now we're going to go in with the silver shade. This is the one we put on the lid right here. So we're going to go with this silver shade for our inner corner. Which I'm hoping gives me that effect and pop that I'm, I'm knowing it can. From her shadows. Can you focus? Thank you. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, see that's what I was looking for right there, that extra moment. Imagine that on the lid, like, oh my god, y'all. I cannot wait to put it on the lid, but I was just feeling the all matte vibes today, so I was like, that's what we're going to do, since so that's how I feel. Okay, it looks good. Um, let's go ahead and put the liquid liner on now. So it retails for $26, and it is the Macro Blade Liquid Liner. Pro Flow Precision Eyeliner. So let's see. Natasha Denona. All her foundations are on sale currently right now too. And I um, actually had one on yesterday in yesterday's video. Let's see. Um, so it is a long wearing liquid eyeliner with a immediate and rich jet back color payoff. This product is cruelty free. Achieve a high color payoff and precision in one seamless swipe. The color stays flawless and vibrant without smudging or shading over time. And the formula has a gliding yet firm texture that gives you complete control to create everything from precise lines to bolder, more dramatic looks. 
I definitely agree with that. Um, as far as like the coloring and it's not fading, because I actually tried this out in yesterday's video as well. For um, the what is it, the Alien Cosmetics Not Normal palette, I drew a wing. I didn't do it on camera. I'm gonna try to do it on camera today. We're gonna see how well it goes. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and choose this eyeliner again for the first time on okay. camera. Okay, so as you can see, that was pretty easy to do, but this is the side that's always easiest for me. That's why I always start with this side. The left side is really difficult for me to do, so I'm hoping we can get that okay. If y'all notice I have a really weird liquid eyeliner, that's because I always feel like I do a terrible job at it, and they always look uneven and crazy. So let's pray on this side, dear God. Let's look at this side since this is the side that looks the best. Um, as you can see, it gave me a nice sharp wing. And it didn't fade over time like it did say. As you can see, this one isn't nearly as nice. But, you know, from a distance, it looks fine. And y'all ain't gonna be close up, so it's fine. Um, so let me zoom you out and talk about the collection as a whole. So I, um, really like this palette. I don't have a smoky palette. Believe it or not, I did not buy the ColourPop Blue and Smoke or, like, what's it called now? Um... Yeah, I think it's called Blue and Smoke now. It was called Smoke Show before. I didn't buy that one, so I don't have that one to compare this one to, unfortunately. I actually really like this one. The metallic is, like, the one thing that's super exciting to me about it. Like, the other shades are nice, but it's, like, um, I have, as you just saw, the Mary Jane palette. Matter of fact, let's compare them side by side. And I I think I like the Mary Jane palette just because it gives me more colors. But I do like the shimmer in here a million times better than all the shimmers in the Mary Jane palette combined. So, um, this is what they look like together it back so as you can see this one is basically um five simple shades there is no black in the mary jane palette it does give you a whole lot of grungy s tones though so i think that's like the only palette i have in my collection that would be similar to this i guess we can put it against the um the, the um mothership one palette and see how they compare as well although that one does have 10 shades so it's five more shades than the Natasha one but you know um it does have a black in it so here are what they look like obviously they have somewhat similar stories but mother I feel like gave us a little bit more color and like her dual chrome and special shades and whatnot not that this metallic isn't fine like I said it's a great metallic but that's the problem there's only one metallic so it's like if you don't want to do a silvery smoky eye it's kind of like well you don't have a choice it's if you want to use this palette you're going to do a silver smoky eye but I like this the way the palette performed overall i like the quality of it and i normally don't like the quality of the small ones i don't think they're as good but this one actually seems like it's pretty decent so um if you need a smoky eye palette and you're in the market to try out natasha denona i would definitely say try it out and i'm actually really impressed with this eyeliner and i don't really use eyeliner as we know but um this one makes me want to like you know practice and actually try out with the other ones i've had in the past like they were okay they worked nice but i didn't they didn't make me want to be like, oh, well, since it works so easy so well, if I practice with it, it'll, it'll, you know, help me get better. And this one does. So I, I definitely recommend you try that out. If you're new and you want one that's going to work easily and isn't going to fade throughout the day, that that's your man. I can attest to it not fading because I put it on at like, I want to say 12 o'clock in the afternoon and I came back at 4 a.m. for my work shift and it was still on. So if that doesn't tell you anything, I don't know, sis. But yeah get your hands on this collection i really like it y'all know i'm all about the smoky eyes so i was definitely here for it and had to have it but i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are dying because i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl okay bye